Hey, <laughs> it is February 5th or something, 2022. I actually got a weekend with no kids. <laughs> um, so I have them most of the time, but my ex-wife's taking them for this weekend. So um, I work today. This is Friday. Um, and I'm it's pretty tired and just really wanted to just relax at home, so I've been doing that tonight, but, um, tomorrow I'll have a free day, and, um, hopefully go to one or two of my groups in the morning, and then, uh, got some organization and stuff I want to get done at the house, um, then I'll probably hit the casino in the afternoon sometime, um, see how that goes, um, yeah, I guess in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'm never gonna have any opportunity to go again, but I guess even if she watches them once every couple of weekends, that does give me an opportunity to go have a little bit of time to myself, um, which would be actually quite nice for me, um, you know, weeknights, I usually don't go out anywhere anyway, <laughs> Because I just, I'm tired after work and stuff, and um, I don't think I do that well at the casino when I go after work. I think I do better on the weekends. Um, and so, it's not really a big burden to have them. But the, having the weekends off is actually really nice. Um, or having one weekend off, uh, however that works out. So, um, yeah, we'll see. That's always hit or miss. I mean... I often find myself kind of hating my life while I'm there. Um, that doesn't always happen. I mean, it just, it depends who's at the table, just how I'm running, um, whether I'm getting lucky or not with the cards is what I mean when I say that, if you're not a poker player. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably do that. And, um... I, I don't know, we'll see, I mean, it's possible something else will come up tomorrow, I mean, if anyone's in Phoenix, if anyone wants to do anything, let me know, um, anyone who's watching this, maybe some of the people I'm at the party, or just anyone who happens to be in town, and uh, if you want to hang out for a bit, let me know. Otherwise, maybe I'll see you at the casino or one of the groups in the morning if you're a part of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I... Gosh. <sighs> yeah, life... My, I definitely have my emotional, like, peaks and valleys, um... Like, I was feeling shitty as hell, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> but then I s smoked a little bit of weed, and now I'm better, so. It's what it is, man. I have not been able to quit this one, man. I have tried, but I just, I get, I, I just feel like shit without it, dude. I literally just hate my fucking life, and I, I fucking don't want to be alive when I don't have it. And, um, I don't think it's productive for me to exist in that state. Uh, now, maybe, I guess, if I got enough time under my belt, um, maybe that would get better. I don't know. Last time I got a couple of weeks and I was hating fucking life and I was asking myself, why the fuck am I punishing myself, not allowing myself to do this? I was figure, you know, who's it fucking hurting? You know, I'm just at home in the evening, whatever. Um, like I don't have to be super fucking productive all the fucking time. You know, I can relax 
and try to feel okay. I've earned that. I wrote my book. I completed it. I did that for you. And because that's done, I don't need to have such a sense of urgency. Because 90% of what I have to say to the world is in that fucking book. You know? And that's pretty good. That extra 10%, it'd be nice, it'd be good. I hope to get it done eventually with my revision, with my poetry books. My poetry book, um, yeah, my, my, my revised edition, my audio book, my e-book, um, my poetry channel, I, I need to re-record my poems. A lot of those poems, I wasn't in a good emotional state when I recited them, and that screws it up. I want to recite my poems f with a mature voice, and, you know, my voice matures over time, um, as I become aware of more. It's really amazing when you open yourself up to the information that other people are presenting and you incorporate that information as a part of your reality, it really sets you on this course of uh, discovery. You know, um, Descartes, I believe it was, if I said that right, who said something about how each understanding kind of formed a foundation upon which higher understanding could be built. And that happens, man. But I gotta say, I feel as though I, it's really tough. It's really tough, my, the question of, like, me and women. <laughs> like, I have a really difficult time committing to even, like, asking someone out. Because... I feel like doing that is such a commitment because I feel like if it's someone I'm asking, then I must think enough of them to enjoy their company. And if I'm hanging out with someone like that, <laughs> we're going to enjoy the shit out of each other's company. I feel like this person will become a major part of my life. And I guess it's difficult because that seems like such a commitment. Like, why this person? Like, why? what makes this person so amazing in relation to anyone else that it could be? I know that's not normal, but normal relationships between humans are dysfunctional. Relationships to be healthy need to involve communication that is honest and grounded in reality. And this requires two things. It requires us to express ourselves with honesty, and it requires us to listen to the expressions of others. 
it also, well, okay, once you have those two things, you are equipped to be an effective communicator. Now, once you start communicating with someone, questions come up, points come up. You know, people need to develop trust before they express themselves too deeply. Because when we express ourselves deeply, we give other people an opportunity to hurt us. So what happens during communication that is honest and open and empathetic is the two parties in the conversation, they will notice inconsistencies between maybe someone said this at one point and then they said this at another point. And it's like, how, like that inconsistency, that apparent inconsistency needs to be resolved. And so if you have been honest, you can resolve that inconsistency through a process of question and answer, through a process of communication. Now, it may appear that there are inconsistencies in what someone's saying, if you're not having that open communication with them. Because you may make assumptions, or you may mishear what they say, you may misunderstand what they say, you may have just gotten a little part of what they said wrong, or they might have said it the wrong way. They might have phrased it in the wrong way. That wasn't exactly what they, what they actually meant with this, you know, and, and so that kind of thing happened. And so, to prove that the person is honest, you need to have communication. You need to have two-way communication. So, I'm honest. And... Anyone who chooses to have that kind of communication with me will discover that. I will be able to explain to your satisfaction any inconsistencies that seem to appear. This happened to me at the party last week. Someone was talking to me about something that her boyfriend had told her that I had discussed with him, and she was using a present tense word, and that was what I was noticing, and when I had had this discussion with her boyfriend, I had been talking about a past tense something that had happened with my ex-wife. She thought I was still married, I think, and that I had been talking about a current wife. And so, um, but, yeah, like, back then, that thing that got mentioned was a thing. For a brief time, and I mean, we didn't go too far with it, but... Hopefully that can resolve what may seem like an inconsistency to you guys. If, you know, you kind of left early, um, so I didn't get a chance to mention that. Because um, then it occurred to me later, like, yeah, that's going to, like, seem like, I'm either telling stories, or I'm making shit up, or something, and hopefully, if you guys happen to tune into this, which, <laughs> I texted someone last night, 
because I was going to upload a video. I often record videos and then choose not to upload them. <laughs> and she had the same name as someone else that I was talking about in the video. And I was like, oh shit, I better tell her in case she watches it. Knowing that like she probably doesn't watch these. And like... <laughs> Like, but some people do. I get like 5 to 10 to 15, and I don't know who those people are. So someone's watching them. And um, if you're watching them, dude, if you've read my book, if you're a fan, man, leave me a review, dude, on Amazon. That would be really, really helpful for me, man. Um, good or bad, whatever you got to say, I want to hear it. And um, it can be short, it can be quick and simple, and whatever it is, just anything you put out there would be really helpful. Um, what else was I talking about? Um, shoot, I, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about that whole, so inconsistencies, yeah. So like, I, <laughs> like, like, the thing is, like, what's started to happen with me, like, I have a lot that, like, I keep inside. Like, even on here, like, I'm, I'm holding a lot within, but, like, in public, I'm usually holding even more in. Because in public, it's like, I see the emotions that are going on, and, like, I can really, like, hone in on, like, this exact, like, story, this exact, like thing that can help this discussion move forward but like they never realize that like i am this ocean like standing behind this like tiny little like part of the fractal and um like we're going fucking places they can't even fucking imagine but like we're just not there yet um what else <sighs> yeah so i'm sorry if i like i didn't mean to like give any wrong impressions with that and uh i don't know if you guys have any questions about it i'd be happy to talk about it and hopefully resolve whatever inconsistencies may seem like they had appeared um so anyway but so okay but back to the point i was making about these inconsistencies so so me now in public like the person i appear to be may be something quite different in this exact scenario this exact situation with these people to like that ocean and like what's actually behind it, who I actually am. And like someone who's glimpsed like multiple parts of this crystal or whatever you want to call it, like multiple aspects of this person um, may think, wow, these are like two really like different people in like these two different conversations. Like who is this fucking guy? Does he have multiple personalities or some shit? So, I can explain, I promise you that, but it's going to require discourse if you're interested in hearing explanations, if you feel like I've been inconsistent. So, I guess I'll call this one inconsistencies and get back to playing Animal Crossing. <laughs>